to find so we're gonna have to find a big board that is has that and then we're gonna have to cut it to pieces we can buy two boards and then after that i think i'll build it the bag is full of lots of good bar robot parts because a box this is really much there's 243 left and we haven't used a lot of parts lately only for the projects that they made with Sota and the robotic team they were able to win so, in our team, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to build a big robotic house, but approximately, this robot can only do human geography teaching, so you might have to build out a little while to do to the circuit. I think there might be a better way how to do this. That's right, though. Yes, you do need a large circuit because small circuits can't store lots of things, and we sometimes need more storage too. So, the best thing to do is to, we don't know if there's any large circuit. There are extreme large circuits in the bag. No, they don't really need that large of circuits. So, the good thing is we can do this. We can combine circuits and then they can have the same code but switch in a different lane. That means that it stands for it doesn't break the service. So, at least we should try that first. So, the code and those circuits seems to be an expired code or this code that it's on right now doesn't seem to be in the right order. So, if you place the circuits or if you place down the circuits for the robot requirement i can change the code and we added all the code access to actually change it to the robot leader code so let's try this so the first circuit you must put in me is the purple one the purple circuit needs to go in me first red one second the green one blue that's the third one and the blue one is fourth let's do it been changed to Volvo Demon now as the Volvo house to change it. Now we have to connect to the white inputs now. They have the same inputs as the motor and stuff. I know that. But 
the code is different now since me on to knows how to do all of this. I'm into this kind of cool thing, so now this is what it's supposed to be. But it said on the instructions menu, it says the only words like that. It's supposed to look like that, I also painted it because it's supposed to be that color. Anyway, there's nothing inside of it, so you have to put the stuff inside, but you also have to put, or you also have to build the endoskeleton, because this doesn't work as well as when you think it will. This requires lots of parts, including skeleton inside. Good job, everyone. This is the next step. Once you finish building the body of it, and you found some parts for it, this is what it said it requires you to do. So, you have two pills of motors, or three, whatever, yeah, two pills. Okay, you have two pills of big motors, okay. They said they are located in the bottom of the body where the two holes are connected or cut it each out. Anyway, this is the next one, once you put that in, okay. There is a endoskeleton on the bottom that shows a table, and it has some screw um, holes that you need to screw it in. The blue and the green goes to that one. They go to the bottom holes. Okay, you screw it in. Okay, then the purple and the red one, they are next to the circuit of the lights of the architectures and the screen. The purple one is on the screen, on the computer screen or whatever you call, and the red one it has to be near the light or the architecture, which is surrounded, but needs to be on the biggest one. Okay, there is two screens like TVs, not one of them smaller than the other one, okay? The small one goes on the top of it, the larger one, or the bottom one, it goes on the larger one. Yeah, that stays in the bottom, okay? Then, the last part of it is you must require two batteries, two 12-volt batteries, but large size, okay? And they are located on the back of the vinyl. Okay, it is working good, okay? So, it was a no signal, but I do have a way how to change this. I have a computer or something. Or someone can do it because I don't do access of we do codes. I only do the programming and the stuff like that. And then make the programming. I know what to put inside of it. Now someone will have to do the setting up and such because I'm not doing all of that. Because that is not my priority. I do coding and such and I don't even know what kind of code you have to put in. So you have to do it yourself to do that. I do access the programming and stuff like that, and it looks like the only thing to change the signal is I will have to do it. So, this does have all the codes right, because I can tell. This is actually true. All the robot codes is fully installed and programmed as right. That's good, Mianza. You did all the things correctly. Now, all I have to do is add text to it to actually get the program to the feed, and I have to actually get all the programs to start the program. Podcast. So that's what I have to do. So I am going to edit the robot, but I'm also going to actually access to it so I can do it. So I have the remote control inside of me. So I can actually do all of this on my own because I know this robot circuits is connected to what you ever put in by the ID number of it. something that does not work rightly in a box, whatever it is, the ID is not even working. This idea, whatever you have, must have been stolen. So, you must have took it already, but also, you stole it from another one, so you thought it was going to be a good idea. This idea cannot work at all. This ID number is not a valid ID number that I see detected. Anyways, try a different one, and make sure to cut it all right, because some circuit boards have a cut I'll try again and see, but I don't think any of the circuit boards has anything to do with it. And I don't know why the ID is not working. Something must have been going on here. So I'll try it again and see what's going on here. And if I do see a detection or edit it or a patch it, but whatever. Let me just find out what's going on with this because it's
it should be working right now. I thought articles will work because that's what it said it has, because I studied a lot. Okay, let me make sure I got this all right. cannot even export the code to the robot. So none of the circuits really have it. Or actually they do, but they're actually zipped. In order to unzip it, you must unlock something between an access file, between buying it or something, or you must access something else. Now this language is required to pay promotion, because first, this does not work at all when it fits in the wrong file. And this file you used is not even a valid file. All the documents are stuck, so they can't even give it out. Okay, maybe the old does language didn't work, so let's try my language. My language is kind of a little much different than actual the old does. And let me see whatever code I can put in. I might not be able to get an extra code, but I think I know what I can do about it. So I will copy what the code is on the circuit, and then do edit changes, and make sure if that ever works. And then, find, and then I'll do different stores, because maybe a different file stores might work. I don't know. But let me try it. I think I might have some solutions for it. Maybe if I can try it. Let's just do it. you put it in actually found it. So yes, this is actually working. We are starting up the robot and hopefully it works properly. And yes, we did add one of the circuit boards to have a fire source permission. Great job, Alejandro. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 